Hello and welcome to the Feeding Baby Solid Foods video series. These recordings are presented to you by the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority Public Health Dietitians. In this video, I will be guiding you through a session on introducing common allergens. So, what is a food allergy? Food allergy is a medical condition where your immune system mistakenly treats something in a particular food, most often the protein, as if it's dangerous to you. Your body reacts to the food, the allergen, by having an allergic reaction. This is different from food intolerance, a condition that does not involve the immune system. It is caused by an inability or a limited ability to digest or absorb something in a food. For example, intolerance to dairy or milk products, known as lactose intolerance, occurs in people who do not have enough of an enzyme used to digest the sugar in milk. Symptoms of lactose intolerance can include abdominal pain and bloating, diarrhea, and gas. It is not known what causes food allergies. Those are at an increased risk for food allergies if they have a parent or sibling with a food allergy, if they have severe eczema, or if they already have a known food allergy. In Canada, there are priority food allergens that cause about 90% of food allergy. These include peanut, fish, wheat, milk, soy, eggs, shellfish, mustard, sesame, and tree nuts. It is recommended to introduce common allergens around six months old when your baby is showing signs that they are developmentally ready to start solid foods, even if they are at a higher risk for food allergy. Evidence has shown that early introduction and often exposure may help to lower the risk of food allergy. We have some tips for introducing common allergens around six months. Start with one allergen at a time in the appropriate texture, so we want it to be soft and not a choking hazard. Wait about two days before offering the next allergen. Feed at home when your baby is well and when they are typically awake for two hours after so that you can monitor for a reaction. A reaction can happen within minutes but up to two hours after eating a food. If your baby does not have a reaction, continue to offer twice per week to maintain tolerance. What are the signs of an allergic reaction to look for? These can include hives or a rash that come on quickly, red and itchy skin, swelling of the eyes, nose, lips, or tongue, vomiting, diarrhea, trouble breathing or swallowing, or fainting, weakness, or becoming pale. If your baby is having an allergic reaction, stop feeding them the food right away. If your baby has trouble breathing or any other severe allergy symptoms, call 911. Your baby needs medical help right away. Do not give them that food or anything that contains that food again. If your baby's reaction is not severe, talk to their healthcare provider. The healthcare provider may refer your baby for allergy testing. It is important to note that feeding allergenic foods for the first time in most infants rarely causes a severe reaction. Some common allergens are not a safe texture for babies, such as nuts or nut butters. There are several ways that nuts can be modified to be offered safely. Dilute or thin out nut butter like peanut butter or almond butter by mixing two teaspoons of smooth nut butter with three teaspoons of warm water, breast milk, or formula. Offer a small amount to your baby. If you do not see any signs of an allergy, continue to offer them the rest of the nut butter mixture. Continue to offer this two to three times per week to help maintain tolerance. Some other ways to include peanuts in your baby's food, you can add smooth or reconstituted powdered peanut butter to infant cereal, mashed fruit or yogurt until smooth. Use peanut butter or peanut flour in baked goods such as muffins and loaves or sauces, curries and stir fries. You can also spread peanut butter thinly on toast and cut the toast into strips. Peanut flavored corn puff snack is available in some grocery stores as well. When introducing eggs to your baby, you want to make sure that the egg is cooked all the way through. Both the white and the yolk of the egg should be offered. The egg can be blended with breast milk, formula or water, mashed or scrambled, or cut into strips for younger babies. Older babies can be offered small pieces of egg to pick up. 
summary, it is recommended to offer common allergens such as peanut and egg and safe textures when your baby is showing signs that they are developmentally ready for solid foods around six months old. If your baby does not have an allergic reaction to a food, continue to offer that food at least two times a week to maintain tolerance. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your local public health dietitian over the phone, in person at one of the many drop-in groups across the city, or register for a live virtual workshop. Additionally, please feel free to check out our other videos for different topics on starting solid foods with your baby.